Come with me. Come with me to discover the secrets of how thoughts become things, and we will manifest like never before. Come with me, and we'll discover a secret so powerful that will take you far beyond your dreams. Come with me on an unforgettable journey. Come with me. It's already yours. Get ready for this adventure. And I'm thankful for today that you found us. So get ready. The time is now. I'm Zelda Kelly. Welcome to Secrets Laws of Attraction. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome back to Secrets Laws of Attraction. We have a very good episode this time. I know I say that every time, but every time we do have a very good episode, right? So I'm glad that you're back because I think you're going to really like this one. So now we're talking about love delivered. Many of you are affirming and manifesting love or a specific love, specific person, your SP, whatever the case may be, and you get discouraged because your SP have not shown up yet. And you've worked so hard. You've concentrated on them. You've written about them. You've dreamed about them. You've thought about them. You've driven past their house. You've actually tried to text them or you've actually wanted to invite them to something to you just so you could get movement from them. Well, my darlings, I'm going to tell you, here is the secret to all of this, okay? Get ready. Now write this down. I want you to keep writing down things because that helps you affirm and remember. And you can go back and look at your notes if you cannot go back and listen to this. Writing it down is going to help you. So now remember, this is how it goes. When you're asking for love, or anything for that matter, you write down everything, every detail that you want with your specific person that is coming in. If you do have a specific person that you're working for to manifest a relationship for already, then write down in detail what it is about this specific person that you love. I love the way they look at me. I love the way they talk to me. I love the way they call me. I love the way they want to be. I love, I love, I love. I'm thankful that they love calling me. I'm thankful that they want to be with me. You get the picture. All right, so now you've got all of that in place, and now you set your, your intention and you forget it. That's easier said than done, isn't it? Most of us can't forget it. The moment we start doing it, we start focusing on it. In fact, we move away from focusing and we dwell. And you know what the definition of dwelling is. It's basically setting up residence. So you're setting up residence in that thought pattern and in that frequency. And while that will work, it also sets up your resistance. So what I want to tell you, walk you through, is a little distraction never hurt anybody, and especially you while you're doing this. So I'm going to give you a little example. Actually, this is a big example, and it works for everything, and especially love. So if you're wanting to manifest money or circumstance or a job or good health or situation, a car, a home, abundance in all areas. This is for you. Here's the example. You're deciding that you want a specific item, okay? So you go on the internet and you do a lot of research. You research this item. You see different you see different colors, shapes, and sizes. You see different aspects about it. Maybe a little gift with purchase. You never know. 
but you're doing research. And then all of a sudden, you find the one. You go on your specific internet site where you order things all the time. I'm not going to mention it, but you know which one it is. A is for Apple, right? Maybe. Okay. Yes. Anyway, so you go on this specific site and you place your order. And it gives you the delivery date. And then what do you do? You watch while it's being processed and packaged up. And you give them your details of where to send it. And now all you wait for is delivery. That's all you have to wait for. So what do you do? Do you sit in front of your computer every 15 minutes and say, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I ordered it. Why isn't it coming? Why isn't it coming? Now, sometimes could be weather related that there's a truck delay. It could be whatever else is related. It could be a truck re- delay. It could be that they're working on the product or manufacturing more. It could be for whatever reason. It could even be that there may be an ordering error and they may have to replace your specific person or your specific item or your specific abundance, or your request, or your affirmation, or your manifestation. But believe me, it will be equal to, if not better, than what you have requested. So you wait. You don't sit there. You don't call up frantically. You don't email this place and say, look, I I just ordered this 10 minutes ago. Where is this? You see where I'm going with this? So what you do is after you order it, you go about your own business. You go back to work. You listen to money. You go to or music. Yeah, you listen to money, all right. You listen to music. You, you go to lunch. You talk to friends. You go to sleep. And you know that you know that you know that your package is coming. It's going to be delivered. Now, do you text the carrier and say, where is it? Where are you? Can you tell me where you are? I've been driving by trying to find your truck and I can't find you. No, you don't. You wait. And that's the same thing that you have to do, my darlings, with the law of attraction. It's actually the law of vibration. The vibration is the most important part of the law of attraction. Because the vibration of the earth creates a frequency and that frequency is creating the energy and it's that frequency and that energy that you're putting in all of this placing your order for your love your love of your life it can be Mr. or Mrs. Wright or it can be Mr. or Mrs. Right now it's up to you but whatever it is that you want You have to set your intention and writing it down, writing it down in detail. You cannot do these things by memory. Well, you can, but your success rate is not going to be very high because you want to go back and you want to revisit your list. And sometimes you want to make a few changes. So if you're watching for that package to be delivered, that's fine. But also... Go about your own business. Take your focus off. Get distracted. Let the universe do its magic. Let the universe do its thing. Because I will tell you that it is the law when you are on that vibration and on that frequency of that love that you want, of that specific item person, situation, job, abundance, wealth, whatever the case may be, you will have it. That's what happens. So now, remember to be grateful. I'm so grateful that I ordered this, and I'm so grateful that it's coming. I'm so grateful that I'm asking God's universe. I'm so grateful that I'm asking source. I'm just grateful. And until your package and your specific person is delivered to your doorstep, you remain grateful. Here's the other part of this, and this is very hard. You have to speak only of what you want and not what you don't want. 
You have to speak, okay, I love this part about my specific person. He loves me, but I don't want him doing this. Or I don't want her shopping ex- excessively. Or I don't want him to do that. Or I don't want her to do this. Because guess what you're going to get? You're going to get what you don't want along with your specific person, because the universe does not have that ability to make up your mind. You get it? It just does what you have asked. It, it, it delivers what you ask. So remember, you ask, you set your intention, and then you're thankful. You have believed that you've already received it. You smile because you know your your specific person is about to be delivered to you. You know that. And then you go about your own business, and then it's delivered. Now, for those of you who have been waiting a long time, and I mean maybe months, years, you're thinking about this. Why isn't this person delivered with to me? Why isn't... There could be circumstances beyond your tr- control. There could be something that's going on with that situation, his or her situation, that you just got to wait on. Because if, if your love is delivered prematurely, you're not going to want that. Because it won't work. Seriously. If you push something to be delivered sooner than what it is ready, it won't work. So you've got to wait. Waiting is the hardest thing to do. We become impatient little brats sometimes. And that's okay because God's universe understands. That's why you have to be very strong in talking about what you want. It's going to help you manifest faster. You can't sit and go, well, you know, in the past... They were this and this and this, and maybe that's what they are now. I don't know. When was the last time you saw them? Oh, I don't know, last year. Well, how do you know they're like that now? You see what I mean? You've got to tell the universe what you want. You have to tell them what you want only and what you don't want. And then you get yourself distracted. You go out and take a walk. You go to the gym, you listen to Meowtown like I'm doing right there. Why, I wonder why it is, it's so quiet. And the moment that I start talking, maybe he feels like he has to chime in too. Maybe that's confirmation of the universe, of what I'm telling you about vibrations and being on the same frequency. Hmm, that's something to ponder, isn't it? Yes, see there. Okay, so now the main important thing is you start smiling. Start smiling. When you're smiling, it's very, very hard to be sad. You watch a comedy. You, you listen to really good music. You get up and dance. You be happy because what you want is about to be delivered. I am expecting Now, that's the other thing you have to do. I am expecting my love to show up at any moment. I am expecting a call or a text from my love. I am expecting an email from my love. I am expecting him or her to be here for me. I am expecting. Now, I'm going to caution you on putting down specific dates. I know that some people say that, some people don't. A lot of times I think if you put a specific date down, that's pushing it. The universe may not be ready. Now you can ask the universe for a specific date. But if the universe doesn't deliver, that doesn't mean you're not going to get it. It only means that it wasn't ready to be delivered on a specific date, right? When a farmer plants his crops. He doesn't go out every day and start pulling on seeds and pulling on shoots and saying, where are you? Where are you? Are you, are you going to hurry up? Are you going to hurry up? Are you going to hurry up? You have to be patient, but you have to have the confidence in yourself and in the universe and not question it. 
I'm going to tell you what's going to happen if you start questioning this. I've been waiting so long. Well, guess what? You're going to wait longer. My love hasn't come in yet. Well, guess what? You're going to wait until until they do. Well, I haven't heard from him or her in a long time, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to push this because I need to know that he is still in my court or she is still in my court, and I just need to know. Okay, go ahead. But if you get a bad answer, don't be upset. You have to set this up with the universe. You have to go forward in a very, very good light. This is the funny thing about giving it to God, right? Because you've heard somebody say, oh, just give it over to God. Just give it over to the God. Well, you know what? Not to the God, to our God. You know what? That's very hard for us humans to do. And especially now in this day and age, because we just all want this instant gratification. So stay on your path. Trust God, God's universe. Trust for this to be delivered. If you want change, now you've got to start changing yourself. You cannot ask for change to be coming in because you feel that it needs to change a certain circumstance or that you feel that this person should come to you because they need you. Here's the news bulletin. They don't need anything and neither do you. You have to be strong. You have to be wise in this whole thing. You have to be very, very strong to say, when I give it over to God, that I'm going to let it be. How many times do we say, God, I'm just going to give it to you. I'm giving it to you and to the universe and the cosmic unknown. I'm going to let you handle things. And 15 minutes later, you are on that phone and you're talking about the same thing. Well, you know what? I just don't know what to do. I tried calling. I tried doing this. I tried doing that. Well, yes, I know I'm supposed to give it to God. And I've done, but I've done that already. Well, no, you haven't. So stop it. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. You've not given it to God. You better give it back. You've got to let go of it. You have to be distracted. Last thing I'm going to share, I've shared this in another, another episode, and I'm going to share it with you now, is stick with your path. When you're dealing with downhill skiers, any trainer, any, any person that helps a downhill skier will tell them, stick to the path. Because if you tell a downhill skier, be careful of the trees, what's going to happen? You're going to smack into a tree. You're not, you're not focusing on the path. You're focusing on not hitting the tree, and that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to hit the tree. So it's the same thing in your laws of attraction. Stick to the path. Focus on your, your, your path, not the path of someone else, not the path that you think that the universe needs to take, not the path that you feel is the right one. Because I have news. I have a lot of news during this one, don't you? Don't you think? <laughs> I have news again. That news again is, it hasn't worked for you so far. Your diligence on creating this path that you think that someone else needs to come to you, it hasn't worked for you. You need assistance with your affirmations and your manifestations. And that's why you write it down and you ask the universe and then you become distracted and let the universe and all those helping do their job. Let it happen. It will. It's the law. Manifestations happen every day, whether they're good or they're bad. I'm going to leave you with this last one, and that is just what Henry Ford said. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Get on that positive path. Focus on you, your path, what you're doing. Focus on 
all that is good and positive and smile. Get out the catalog of the universe and prepare to make your order. I will tell you, it is on its way. Thank you so much for this episode of Secrets, Laws of Attraction. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. I appreciate you so much. I know this has helped a lot of you. Sit and think about it. Focus on your path. And be well, be blessed, and be very brave, heart. And I'll see you again on the next episode of Secrets, Laws of Attraction. Happy manifesting! Bye for now.